Hi guys, welcome back to Coding World. Today in this video, we are going to see one more interesting topic of the microservice, which is a Resilience 4J. So Resilience 4J is mainly used for the fault tolerance. Using a circuit breaker, we can achieve the fault tolerance. And rate limiter is one of the features provided by the Resilience 4J. It also provides a bulk ahead and <coughs> retry. So this is going to be a very interesting video so we are explaining this with the two microservices one is for our books microservice and second is for the student microservice so where we are consuming the books from this book service in our student microservice in this video we are mainly focusing on the circuit breaker and rate limiter so circuit breaker is used for the fault or fault tolerance when we are calling one service one microservice from the another microservice and that suppose in this video suppose in this image spring boot one is calling my spring boot to microservice and due to some reason spring boot to microservice get down and this service getting call this spring boot to microservice again and again and there that will bring a load on microservice one and to avoid this and make a default response in this in such case we use a circuit breaker so we will open the circuit and the calls will not go to the spring boot to microservice and it will return from the it will return with the default result and rate limiter is a, one of the more important topic in a subscription types of microservices where within a period we have to give some amount of service or some amount of calls to that microservice so in facebook if you can able to click like button with uh, two times within of one second or two seconds such types of rate limiter is implemented using a resilience rate limiter in this video i will show you how circuits changes from the closed to open and open to half half open and half open to a closed one so closed one means like all the services are up and the calls are coming from directly micro from microservice two and when this we are setting one threshold for the failure count and if that counts get increased then that circuit then that circuit will be open and it will keep in open state for a, some particular timeout period and when that timeout period gets over then it will again come to a half open and in half open it will again call to the microservice too if it is giving a successful response then we make that circuit as a closed one circuit and if uh, if it is not giving us success then that means it is a failing and again it is exceeding the threshold of the failure then we will ba bring back to the open and we will not call that microservice and return the default microservice response i am going to show this with a simple microservice demo so stick to the video till the end i have two microservices one is a simple microservice and second one is a resilience demo in my simple microservice in my simple microservice i have a book controller and in that book controller i am having a two apis one is a get all book and one is a save book so these two APIs we are calling from our Resilience Demo microservice. In Resilience Demo, I am having a student controller and in student controller, I am calling a, a all book method and save book method. So we are going to implement a rate limiter on our add book. We are allowing to save the books, two books or four books within one second or one minute such types of rate limiter we are going to apply on add book and circuit breakers we are going to apply on get all book so let's consider get all book so we are calling this 800 or book slash all so this api is we are getting and which is returning a list of books and that return we are showing on our browser and for that we are going to add the circuit breaker in circuit breaker before going to add circuit breaker, I want to show you what form dependencies I have added. I have added an actuator for my health checkup, then resilience 
Spring Cloud Starter Circuit Breaker Resilience 4J, then Aspect I have used, and Spring Boot Web, which is a which I am using for my REST APIs. So these three main dependencies I have added, and let's come to our book services where I am using an annotation for my get all book. So in this method, we have to use a circuit breaker, and in circuit breaker we have a two. One is my circuit. I am giving as a, and in fallback in fallback method get default book. Okay. So what we are telling now we have to do the configuration for my circuit breaker which I already did to save our time. What we are doing. Like we are calling book all method and which is returning a list of books and that if this service is getting down and we are ex we are and that threshold of we exceed the threshold of fail count in that case we can call a get fallback get default book method which is our fallback method and this will return us an empty list which is a default result for me. You can return uh, any uh, book which you want or any default response you want when the method gets failed. Now we have to configure our circuit breaker. For that we have in application.yml we have some properties like in under resilience there will be a circuit breaker in circuit breaker register health indicator true I am making it as a and my circuit breaker I am giving instance. A wait duration in open state it will be it will keep it will be in open state for one minute and after one minute it will be go go into half open state and in half open state we are allowing a three service request we are allowing three service request to our simple microservice which is our book service sliding window type is account based and side reduce is five we are allowing a five call within one sliding window minimum number of calls is five and slow call duration is a 10 seconds so within a 10 second we are not if we didn't get our response in that case we are calling it as a fail one slow rate is a threshold is a five so our five consecutive call will be a with a 10 second duration and fail rate threshold which is in percentage um, in my case it is a five so this is our this is for our get all book rate limiter now we will run this application and we will check that of how the states is moving from our close to open and open to half open it has been started successfully. Let's hit the API get all book. So student get all book. Now it is returning that response within a time because service is up and if you check health accurate it is showing as a closed. Now I am going to stop my microservice, simple microservice, which is a book service and we will check. So I am stopping my book service. So now hit that API. So it's returning as empty response. So we will check that our circuit breaker state, which is now open, not permitted four calls and our failure threshold is a 5%. And slow rate threshold is a 5%. Buffered calls 5. Okay. Now we will wait for one minute, and after one minute, it will change this stage to a half open. So now after one minute, it is in a it comes into a half open state, and it has been exceeded the failure count also. So in sometimes after one minute, it will go into a Again, open state. If that uh, fail counts continues, then it will be again in open. Or we can, uh, if and if it uh, and if the calls get success, it will become into a closed state. So let me again start my microservice, simple microservice. Yes, service has been successfully started, and let me hit it again. Okay, and it's returning me a successful result. That means it should be coming back to the closed one. Okay, 
yeah it will it is coming in open state and in open state if it is exceeding the so why it is showing in open state because in open state half open state we have configured our threshold as a three and out of three two has been already a false and one has been a success so it's a, again bring back to a open state but it will stay in open state for one minute and after one minute it will go into the half open state and when when it comes into half open state we will make all the success percentage above a, above configured five percent and then it will be which is a like a failure percentage is a like a 66 percent if it is below our five percent then it will be bring back to a closed one Yes, so from half to close it has been come. So we have seen that our circuit breaker is working uh, successfully with our configuration. Now let's focus to our second thing is a rate limiter. Okay, rate limiter we are going to apply on our save book. In save book it is returning all the save books. In my case we are not changing the book ID. It is simply hard coded. That's why it is returning the same response. But it should return a null for book id book name and book cost when it has been exceeded the rate limit so in one minute if we are allowing 50 records and if we do the 51 request within one minute then in that case it should be a returning null null so let's check that i have added the rate limit configuration as a limit for period which is a two within a within a period we are allowing a two request and the limit refresh which is a 50 microsecond 5000 microsecond so within five seconds we are changing this limit and the time mode duration is a three second so these three configuration are more important while configuring the rate limiter and we are configuring that over our save book and all those things are we are doing with the annotation and annotation is like rate limiter where i have given name which is a save book I'm using as it is and fallback method in my case I'm using a skip book entry okay let's restart it application has been successfully started let's call this and all book ID I am adding so book save entry has been skipped after uh, like uh, four entries we are doing and four entry within one second within a three second if we are doing sorry for what is our limit limit refresh like uh, 5000 microsecond in my 5000 microsecond we are doing more than two requests hence that request coming as a book save entry has been skipped so let's check the fallback method where we are printing book save entry has been skipped and in browser also we will check so in failure in fallback states we are getting a null values for book and the book name and the cost name so this this is telling that like when our rate is rate limit has been exceeded then in that case that request will not process and it will return the default response and it will it we can handle those types of requests in fallback like we can put them them into a queue and in from queue we can process those requests so there are many different use use case for the such types of scenarios so according to that you can implement so this is it guys so for using a resilience 4g we have implemented successfully circuit breaker and rate limiter I hope you like this video and if you like such types of interesting video regarding microservices please subscribe to my channel and happy coding.